Last Saturday, I did stand-up at 420 at the Improv in Orlando, Florida, and I will play the audio of Graham Elwood going head-to-head against audience members at the end of this... Okay, I'll play it now. Hey, you guys want to play some Leonard Maltin games? Yeah! Hang on to your hats and glasses. This is the wildest ride in the wilderness. <laughs> Keep your arms inside and they'll hold you at all times. Uh, Bane, it was weird. He, <laughs> he just, everyone thought he was dead, but he just got a job at an amusement park. Yeah, that's what he did. Please remove your hats and glasses. <laughs> Do not stand up until oh. the train has come to a full and complete stop. <laughs> Thank you for coming to Disneyland. Keep your arms and hands inside <laughs> at all times, unless you favor anarchy. <laughs> Don't stand on ceremony during this trap ride. Don't stand on the ceremonial yellow line. Yeah. All right, we gotta play the Leonard Maltin game. We're running out of time. Yeah. Oh shit! Crack up, Orlando. Some, some folks here at the Orlando Improv have uh, here out in the, the Gross Point Blank Mall uh, have what's it called? Point Orlando. Point Orlando Mall. No, nope, it's the Gross Point Jam Lando Mall. Doug. Hashtag Jam Lando, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Jam Lando. Last name, Calrissian. <laughs> <laughs> right. Because this show is like living in a cloud city, 420. Her heart, heart. I don't know why the dog's got out. Uh, <laughs> who let the dog out? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. Uh, what were we talking about? Your precious Aubrey. <laughs> Gratefully accepted. Uh, some folks here at the Orlando Improv brought name tags. Uh, Ooh, uh, their names worked tomorrow. into them. I had tomorrow, sure. Settle down, dude. Jesus. He's like, that's fucked up. I made mine for tomorrow. This is bullshit. Yeah. I say it on the show all the time that uh, <laughs> guy, if you bring your wheat things. This dude's got a wheat things box. We were sitting at the, at the bar before the show, and the manager goes, Hey, Doug, uh, somebody brought wheat thins to the show. They said it was yeah. for you. He's on the phone all the time. <laughs> is he your personal assistant? Um, is he your tap out coordinator? <laughs> but yeah, he brought a box of wheat thins, and thank you to the improv for allowing uh, food in the showroom. And, because uh, that's usually not allowed. Michael just brought a poster of John Travolta in the motion you guys. picture. Hold Michael. Him up. And what's you? Christine is the most beautiful Christine. Did you guys just get hooked up because of your names? You're a movie. You're a movie too. Let's do it. They both went to a, a blockbuster and it was closed down and they fell in love. <laughs> they rented each other's hearts. They brought the house lights up, right? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> What are you talking about, Doug? There's no lights up. I was just thinking maybe I'm due for some more glaucoma medication. <laughs> they turned them back down, right? <laughs> I guess they decided we were through with the name tag portion of the, the show. But uh, Graham, do you want to pick somebody? This guy's got super guy me. Uh, that's adorable. Clockwork Kelly. Um, Clockwork Kelly, she's good. Oh, Jesus. Wow. <laughs> Are you a prostitute or a stripper, Kelly? Uh, this guy's a fan. No, I beat you last year. You beat me last year? Oh, oh. no, she's talking shit. So all of a sudden, oh, man, no. there's that kind of shit going down there. Oh, yeah, I think I read a Twitter about her uh, taunting you. Taunting me. A tweet. Uh, I am the League of Leonard Maltin Shadow. Well, do you want to do you want to give her another chance? You want to give somebody new a chance? You want to go with the? All right, I'll go with this guy that's got glutino cookies. All right, that's. An I will meet you again, Curly. That's a very unpopular choice, but I'm okay. sorry there, bro. Thanks, dude. Thank you. The old glutino cookies trick. Your name is Andy, and your sign says cookies. re Andy Mater. Yep. Right. Nice, nice job. You hold on to that. Where are you from? Go stand uh, next Lakeland. to Cookie over there. Where? Closer, Lakeland. closer. Where's Lakeland? It's like an hour and a half. 
Far away, not in Orlando. Okay, fuck nut. <laughs> Like 35 minutes away unless there's a breeze and you're driving a van, then it might be more like 40. Listen, I don't go to Burger King when you're trying to order and then step up and also order at the same time. <laughs> that would be annoying. You're like, hi, I'd like to order. Hey, I have a uh, Whopper. Uh, I just drove in from Lakeland. Oh, what the fuck? Why did you go to Why did you go to Burger King in Lakeland? Why are you here? Two shots of oh. your best tequila. They sell tequila? <laughs> so I'm uh, wishful. There's at the, across from the Alamo Draft House in uh, Kansas City, Missouri, they have a, uh, a Burger King that's also a bar. Like you get Burger King food and cocktails at night, at nighttime. And do they just sell big vomit bags for people? <laughs> Whopper bag! I was so close to getting that sponsorship from them. <laughs> Like they just I, was, I really walk. set a nice table, and then you just walked up and you just like, you just, the... I, you just ripped up the sponsorship contract right as I made that joke. Uh, Stop standing behind me, Randy, oh, right? That's so creepy. <laughs> what the fuck you guys do in Lakeland? Jake Land, Jam, Lakeland, Jam, Lake, Jam Land, Lake, Jam. All right, his name is Andy. Shut up. What do, what do I call him? You call him Randy. Yeah, stop. Maybe changing. you just meant because he was, uh, you know, moving up on you. Yeah. <laughs> stop changing your name. You thought he was acting Randy. He's just Randy. <laughs> yes, because I'm an English dude from the 60s. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Restore right. soundtrack over 9,000. More Leif Garrett. Yeah. <laughs> You're a big Leif Garrett fan. <laughs> I know every movie Leif Garrett's ever done. What was that one you thought he was in? Um, <laughs> he was in Boy Interrupted. That actually, I was proven correct on that. that, no, that it turned out there was a thing called Boy Interrupted, but Leif Garrett wasn't in it. He was a supervising producer, and he was a oh, strip geez. consultant. And then oh, he had a scene that was later cut out that they put in the uh, Boy right. Interrupted. I'm just going to give him the prizes. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I forgot the prizes. Oh no. <laughs> gotta tell you what gotta tell you what we're playing for to build the suspense. Uh Graham, what are you gonna uh, toss into the mix? Um I will toss in uh, a copy of my CD, Fall Strike Dance Party. Strike Dance Party. A dude somewhere, I can't remember where made made me some lighters that oh, say oh. Doug Loves movies on them. So that's, that's, awesome. that's, that's exclusive. Um <laughs> uh, also, somewhere I, along the line, I got a CD called Somewhere Over the Radar by the Sleepwells. So, what the fuck is that? <laughs> maybe, maybe they're called the Sleepwells because it's, like, uh, boring and you fall asleep to it. <laughs> it's just white noise. Each track is just... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the tracks are... Now that you mention it, the tracks are called uh, Creek Bottom. <laughs> Airplane and Fan. <laughs> Oh, they got, uh, there's a song on here called Wrecking Ball, which is uh, probably more for, uh, you know, uh, play that in the morning to sure. wake, wake you up. Yeah, wake up to the Wrecking Ball. Yeah. Uh, a copy of Gateway Doug is in here. And what'd you say you're going to contribute, Grant? I'll give a copy of my CD. The uh, yeah. Palm Strike Dance Party. All right. So that's, uh, that's all the stuff you're playing for. And uh, I'm just going to pick a category because, uh, okay. just for, for time's sake, um, it's one that uh, I've been trying to get somebody to play for a while now, and it hasn't been played. Four Weddings at a Funeral? What? Four Weddings at a Funeral. Four That's Weddings at a Funeral? What's that about? That was like your least popular category. Oh, jeez. We got a full on This guy. Yeah, this guy. Yeah. He's like, all right. This guy, you know what? This is. I'm kind of excited about this. It's kind of a first. Can you hear like faint There's music? There's goddamn music playing. <laughs> Yeah, the I music. swear, I'm the really gonna, I, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna get dig into my glaucoma medicine, like, because it's I use it for my ears also. <laughs> you got glaucoma the ears? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That yes. Was great improv. That's how you get your medical card in California. You got, yeah. you know, they ask you about something. Yes, I have. That. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, my eyelashes are hurting. Okay, here's... Nice did you lose custody of your children? Yes, I did. Babysitter. <laughs> there was a babysitter callback, and that's why I am declaring, because it's 6 o'clock straight up, and that's when the show has to end anyway, Andy is our winner tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We're still going to play. You still going to play. No, we're done. We're not even doing the trivia? Yeah, we're not even going to do it. Because you wasted all that time with all the nonsense. <laughs>
Cookies crinkling against the thing. It sounded like you. Sound like you. What you were gonna do is snap your own neck and then fling your head at me. What the heck are you talking about? Yeah, you would fucking. Yeah, do the do the crinkle against the microphone. Crinkle, crinkle. Oh my neck, oh, snap! My neck. Here comes my head. Yeah, then you fucking throw your head at me. It's just dangling like a fucking tether ball. Some guy just went play the game. <laughs> So good for the podcast that I insisted on not, not playing the game. I think it's hilarious. Yeah, that's what everyone's yelling at their little devices as they're listening to this, sitting on a subway yelling, Play it! No, instead I'm going to play another one of Bert Kreischer's dreams. <laughs> Mixed reaction to that. <laughs> 